You don't have to vote for me. But you have to acknowledge the truth. Ten years ago, they write about Jamaica, highly indebted country. Jamaica, almost every year new taxes. Jamaica, double digit unemployment. Jamaica, thank you my friend, inflation. Jamaica, no growth. Jamaica, unstable exchange rate. What do they say about Jamaica today? Not my words. They say that Jamaica is a success story. That Jamaica is the example of how a country should run its economy. Not my words. One would think, one would think that that would be sufficient. One would think that that would be enough for the population to say, yes, this government has worked hard. But I know that that is not sufficient. Because we have a politics where people follow the politics like how they follow the football team. No matter if my football team lose, I will always be a Liverpool fan. No matter how good Manchester United do. And it's how we deal with our politics. But I urge you, the result of me supporting Liverpool or Germany is neither here nor there to the price of rice or water in your pot. So Jamaicans, you can't take that attitude to your politics. You like how me have COVID. You, you, the approach you have to take to your politics is that you have to be objective. You have to look at what your government has done for you.